In Dandy Town with all your favorite dandy characters like Desperate Dan, Percy Payne, Beryl the Peril, Winker Watson, Corky the Cat, Brain Dwayne, and many many more. You live in Dandy Town with all your favorite dandy characters like Desperate Dan, Percy Payne, Beryl the Peril, Winker Watson, Corky the Cat, Brain Dwayne, and many many more. And, today we have first class and enter the restroom. A new event that's taking over the Dandy Town restroom, as you step into the bustling restroom, you see the familiar faces of Desperate Dan, Percy Payne, Beryl the Peril, Winker Watson, Corky the Cat, Brain Dwayne, and many more. Kylie and Lucy making our huge love as girls, and for the boys became Wilf and Eddie was anger and very ignore it. As you take your seat at the urinal, you notice the commotion in the room and hear Desperate Dan's voice booming from the stage, Attention, everyone! We have a new event taking over the Dandy Town restroom today, first class and enter the restroom. Are you ready to see the finest talent in town? Good afternoon, children, asked Miss Teacher. What is the prize for this event? You see Percy Payne and Beryl the Peril competing against each other in a tug-of-war. Their muscles bulging as they struggle to pull a heavy log over a pile of sand. Winker Watson is practicing his juggling act, throwing flaming torches in the air with precision. You say, what's the big joke? As you say, what's the big joke, to the room, Percy Payne and Beryl the Peril both turn to look at you, their faces contorted in confusion. Winker Watson, who is still juggling flaming torches, chuckles and continues to toss the torches in the air, the flames illuminating the room. You neither say she's only one boy sneaking out the desk chair. As you watch the scene unfold, you notice a boy who seems to be hiding behind the desk chair, his eyes darting around nervously. As you wonder who he could be, you hear Miss Teacher clear her throat and announce, first class and enter the restroom is now in session. Are you ready to see the finest talent in town? You Kylie and Lucy rush down into the raking out. As you look around the room, you notice Kylie and Lucy rushing down towards the raking out, their faces flushed with excitement. Wilf and Eddie, who are currently ignoring the event, are watching them with a mix of jealousy and amusement. You what's the plan, Kylie, whisper Lucy. What's the plan, Kylie? Lucy whispers back, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Kylie grins mischievously and replies, we're gonna sneak out the window. With that, they both run towards the window and out onto the balcony overlooking the bustling street below. In the dandy town was almighty great our past standby, just in that moment with cuddles and dimples working throughout that trouble with babies. You watch as Kylie and Lucy's feet touch the ground, their laughter filling the air as they run back into the room, giggling and tumbling over each other in their excitement. As you join in on the fun, you can feel the energy in the room rising with each passing moment. You hey! Wilf he shouts, where's my hat? As you turn to face Wilf, you notice his anger and frustration boiling over. Hey, he shouts, where's my hat? You watch as he storms towards you, his fists clenched and his eyes blazing with anger. Desperate Dan steps forward, trying to defuse the situation. Calm down, Wilf. You Wilf, let's get out of here, run away, Eddie, towards himself. As you try to calm Wilf down, you notice Eddie running towards himself. Wilf, let's get out of here, he shouts, his eyes filled with fear. You quickly step in front of Wilf and say, hold on, everyone. It's okay. Let's all just take a deep breath and calm down. You wait. Lucy and Kylie shouted, you forget that Wilf's hat. As you try to stop the chaos, you hear Lucy and Kylie shouting, you forgot that Wilf's hat. They both run towards the balcony where Kylie and Lucy's feet touched the ground, their faces filled with concern. You turn back to Wilf, who is now standing in front of you with a defeated look on his face. You hold on, wait a minute, gasps Kylie, that's not was Wilf and Eddie, how lost it. You hold up a hand to stop Kylie and say, hold on, wait a minute? You turn to face Kylie and ask, that's not what Wilf and Eddie were doing, is it? 
Kylie shakes her head and says, no, they were just looking for their hats. They didn't forget anything. Kylie and Lucy was sad, gave to my joy. Later, Wilf lost his hat gone. You watch as Wilf frantically searches for his hat, tears streaming down his face. His frustration and anger are palpable as he throws his hands up in defeat. You notice desperate Dan approaching him, offering words of comfort and support. You Wilf and Eddie round by desperate Dan told yourself upwards. You watch as Wilf and Eddie approach desperate Dan, their faces filled with relief as they explain that they have found their hats. They hand them over to him, and you see the relief in his eyes as he thanks them. As you all stand there in silence, you can feel the tension in the room slowly dissipating. You hey, desperate Dan, said Eddie. Hey, desperate Dan, you say, turning to face Eddie. He looks at you with a grateful smile, his eyes shining with relief. Thanks for your help, he says, before turning to Wilf and asking, so, where did you lose your hat? Wilf grins, his anger and frustration now replaced with excitement. You what, the mischief was that came from, yells Dan. What, the mischief was that came from, you yell, your voice echoing through the room. Desperate Dan nods in agreement, his eyes gleaming with amusement. It looks like someone had a little too much fun, he says, his tone laced with sarcasm. You ah, shucks. Reply Desperate Dan it just something were lost my Kylie and Lucy. Ah, shuck, you reply, your tone light and playful. Desperate Dan chuckles, his eyes crinkling with amusement. It just something were lost, Kylie and Lucy, he says, before turning to Wilf and asking, are you feeling better now? Wilf nods, his smile returning. Yeah, I'm good. You meanwhile, Winker Watson, Beryl the Peril and Corky the Cat, who's playing with party games. Meanwhile, Winker Watson, Beryl the Peril and Corky the Cat are playing with party games. They're giggling and laughing as they hide and seek, make paper mache masks, and play games of tag. You watch as they play, feeling grateful for the fun and laughter that fills the room. You wow, winky, happiness barrel, you look brill, they'll kind as mischief was saying. Wow, winky, you say, turning to face barrel. You look brilliant, you add with a smile. Barrel grins back at you, her eyes sparkling with happiness. Thanks, I had a blast, she says, before turning to Winker and Corky to join in on the fun. You back to the dandy town village, Wilf and Eddie run away, through the moment was very cross. You turn to Wilf and Eddie, who are now running through the moment, with a sense of urgency. You can see the frustration and anger etched on their faces as they continue to argue about the missing hats. Come on, guys, you say, trying to coax them back to the party games. Let's just enjoy the evening and have some fun. Kylie and Lucy was very cried. You watch as Wilf and Eddie finally come to their senses and realize that the party is just getting started. They turn back to the group, their faces filled with apology as they say, sorry, we'll make it up to you. Kylie and Lucy let out a sigh of relief, their tears now replaced with smiles. You wait, stop, shouts Lucy, this is all your fault. Wait, stop. Lucy shouts, holding up a hand. This is all your fault. You turn to face Lucy, confused by her outburst. My fault, you ask, your voice laced with confusion. Lucy looks at you with a pout, her eyes filled with frustration. Yes, your fault. You say, you forgot Wilf's hat. You forgot Wilf's hat, you say, your tone gentle, but firm. Lucy looks at you with tears in her eyes, her frustration palpable. I know, I know, she says, shaking her head. I'm sorry. You place a hand on her shoulder, offering comfort and support. It's okay, Lucy. You as you can see, Eddie and Wilf walks away to Lucy, and Kylie gave him a hat. As you watch, Wilf and Eddie walk away to Lucy and Kylie, who have gathered around them to offer them hats as a peace offering. You can see the relief on their faces as they accept the hats, thanking the two of them for their help. You turn to face desperate Dan, 
who is now standing beside you, his eyes gleaming with amusement. You t he he he, she's both giggles. T he he he. Desperate Dan giggles, his eyes crinkling with amusement. You can't help but chuckle along with him, feeling a sense of camaraderie with your new friend. The party has finally come to a close, with everyone laughing and having a good time. By this time Lucy and Kylie was happy, was pleased. Make that's Wilf's hat were promising. You watch as Wilf and Eddie walk back towards the group, their faces filled with relief as they hold up Wilf's hat. You can see the relief in Kylie and Lucy's eyes as they too hold up their hats, their smiles wide and genuine. You later, that night, Kylie and Lucy gave a kiss as lips and cute hugs. Later, the group sits around a fire, enjoying the warmth and light as they talk and laugh. Kylie and Lucy lean in to give each other a soft, sweet hug. You watch as they share a moment, feeling grateful for the bonds of friendship that have been formed. The night sky is dark, with stars twinkling like diamonds in the distance. You say, I love you, Kylie. I love you, Kylie, you say, looking into her eyes. Kylie smiles back at you, her eyes shining with happiness. I love you too, she says softly, before leaning in, to give you a gentle, soft hug. You feel a warmth spread through your chest, grateful for the love and affection that Kylie has shown towards you. As we'll return to the story beginner that was Wilf and Eddie was famous quicken. You watch as Wilf and Eddie walk back towards the group, their faces filled with excitement as they tell everyone about their success at finding the missing hats. You can see the pride and happiness in Kylie and Lucy's eyes as they listen to their friends' stories. The End Take a turn. Continue. Retry. Erase.